In this video, we'll be discussing adiabatic processes, which include the dry adiabatic lapse rate and the wet adiabatic lapse rate. Environmental temperature lapse rate. In general, air is cooler as the altitude increases. The rate at which this air is cooled is known as the environmental temperature lapse rate. Temperature decreases by 6.49 degrees per thousand meters. The environmental temperature lapse rate is an average for stationary air, so the air is not moving. Do not confuse the environmental temperature lapse rate with the dry adiabatic lapse rate and the wet adiabatic lapse rate. The latter two are for moving air, not for stationary air. We are going to be looking at the dry adiabatic lapse rate first. The adiabatic principle states that as a gas is compressed, its temperature will increase. So as air rises into the atmosphere, its pressure decreases, and as air sinks in the atmosphere, its pressure increases. As air that has not yet reached saturation rises, it cools at the dry adiabatic lapse rate. This is a rate of 10 degrees per thousand meters, or 1 degrees for every 100 meters. The converse also works. A descending air mass heats up at the dry adiabatic lapse rate. This is a dry rate because no condensation occurs during this process. As the air rises and cools further, it reaches its dew point temperature and condensation occurs. The point where condensation occurs is known as the lifting condensation level. This is where the cloud formation starts. As this condensed air continues to move upwards, two effects occur. The air is heated by the release of latent heat, but it still cools due to the adiabatic principles. The cooling is stronger, so the air cools at a rate of 5 degrees for every 1000 meters. Now this is an average, because depending on different factors, it can cool between 4 degrees and 9 degrees per every 1000 meters, but we just average it to 5 degrees for every 1000 meters. At some point, the latent energy is going to run out, so the condensed air mass will then cool faster.